What's going on guys and welcome back to Oxford Fort. Just going to So in this video I wanna be showing you all how to find the lava golem and uh, ice queen and some stuff I fought the lava golem so many times so just try to farm as much loot as possible with the ice queen a good few times. Oh actually <laughs> I had to lie foot on them once because there's a glitch where all the ice runs over spawn. I'm not sure if that's still happening. But whatever, we'll find out. I've got better creatures now, so we should be able to deal with it. Anyway, it's good. So the cave entrance to the Lava Golem Cave is 18.64 and 27.8. There's another entrance. There's another entrance uh, somewhere. Those directions, that, which is also taken. Right, this is the main entrance, I believe. These pressure blades will shoot train cars at you, so make sure you just avoid them. Or you can just be crouched, and I think they'll just go over your head. Come on, load the cave. Load. available for some reason picture I think that's a dragon I don't know if normally enter through this way right. right that leads up to the other entrance I'm pretty sure or is it this way okay no, this way leads up to the other entrance I think it's this way actually I am rarely yeah this is the other entrance at 18.5 and 28.5 I think I rarely enter through the main entrance, I usually enter through that one, so it's all turned around. So yeah, through here. Drop. And the line will drop, no. Right. To get to here, here a drop. Oh no, that's a Halloween drop. Here. You don't want to go up. I can't. Uh, this way leads to. This is how you get up if you don't have tech. Um, you gotta walk across this vine. And you get here. You just have to crouch on here. Go through here. If you got tech, make sure to turn on your helmet. Because you can then see all the creatures. Um, so yeah, this bit has buckle. I'm gonna attempt it, but but I suck at buckle, so I probably won't be able to do it. So I'll just use my tech. Bring grapples to this game if you don't have tech. That's my best recommendation. That's why I'm not doing it. It's almost not including the life labyrinth in this tutorial. Okay, no, I did my little something solid there. Right. Yep. No, 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 no. That lava has to kill, by the way. So don't fall in it. Get 
And yeah, the creatures here can spawn above max level. Are you 
shoot with a knife sword gun. That's how you shoot, yes. Oh, they are good against this thing. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, that's good. I like that. Okay, that does four damage. The magnets will have like a ridiculously good saddle though. So, I'm not surprised. So long. I was happy when I got a 260. 411 and 390. Holy Jesus. Right, let's just put the Magnusaur away. And then I have to save the game because if I lose this, I will be so mad. Alright. So I want to show you a little trick if you're on single player. Come 
Let's see, boss is on cooldown for 57 minutes. Or, however, if you just exit the main menu, cancels the cooldown. You can farm this boss super easily. If you just keep doing that. Like, I've done that a bunch. Like, it's so easy to farm if you just keep exiting the main menu and doing that. I'm so happy about that pump. Those pumps. Holy god. I just want to quickly fight it again. With my magma sword. I'm seeing bosses available. Right, magma sword. I can't really see how good the Shadow Man is, but I don't really want it. It's good. I want that. <laughs> Challenges. Okay, no, it's not. Our uh, challenges. Hello. Hello. Hey, I just killed you. I guess 
on the end. Okay, go away. This cave is so cool looking at anyway. It's probably one of my favorite caves in the game. There's another drop here somewhere. And we've got a lot of friends. I hear a drop. I don't know if you could just pull out a creature. Oops. Okay, of course we got little spiders. Those spiders just appear and disappear. Alright, we're just going to have friends and probably another wolf spider. I got a scorpion. We've got friends here, we've got some friends. Okay, very much friends. I don't, I don't have to say friends, I'm not.
guys, welcome back. So I right here at my favourite entrance of the watch the ice queen cave. Um at 3037. Um, oh, there's another end. The main entrance is in this direction over here. Well, there's a couple of entrances. because you can fly into it and it's great if you like just join a server and like you just tame like or even on single player like you just join a game like tame a PC and then you can just fly in here and grab all the drops and just fly back out so the drops on this cave and this part This cave isn't intended for you to use creatures in, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Because, let's face it, now the cryopods are a thing, everyone is doing, doing creatures in caves. There's one that dropped over here, there's another one down there, and another one up there. I farmed these drops a couple of times. But they could get your, they could help get you on your feet if you just started on a server. And again, if you just started on a server, people might have taken on them all anyway. And they can be helpful on single player, that's for sure. Gonna hit the Ice Queen with it. Now, I'm not super good. I am not great. I don't know my way around this cave that well. I'm gonna try and show you how to go through it. Okay, this is a Halloween drop, I guess. And it's got the hitbox in one, but it just doesn't look like one. We'll take these. Just take it off. Yeah, it okay. okay, I guess there's an invisible Halloween drop over the proper drop. Alright, let's see what you got. I think this is, yeah, this is way better than everything else I've got. Alright. Let's see. So, yeah, you gotta go down this way. Um, I think there's like a no tame spell last year. And a shield just in case I need it. And then we go away. Why is my timer going? Okay, just give me a second, just gotta turn that off. Shadow Hands can 
probably should have waited a little longer. Okay. Get you through. No. Great. Just have to wait for the cry signal time to go down. Because the death worm starts spawning pretty soon and if my past experiences in this game have show anything then they're gonna be overspawned. Just keep the shield out. Just in case. I need to warn me for it. I really do not like this. Oh yeah, this is the crossroads. I honestly don't know which way to go. I think it's this way. I think it's straight ahead, but I'm like 99% sure it's not that way. And I'm pretty sure it's also not that way, so let's just go straight ahead. Screw it. This leads down to I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I think this is where the gate probably opens out and I can use a shadow man. It's also where the worms can start coming. I don't see any, but that doesn't mean they're not there. That a red drop glows somewhere. Let's go checking out the Shadow Man. I should have brought something smaller because Shadow Man's have a pretty big hitbox. Oh my god, I am so dumb. I am so goddamn stupid. Why? 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 Didn't I wait? The cryosignal timer. That was so dumb. Alright, guys, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna have to bring you guys back when this guy wakes up. So, speed up time. Can't spell, apparently. Gonna speed up time a little. Don't see any worms. So I think we're safe here for the moment. Last time I went to this cave, I did it on a mantis. So, like, the worms did so much damage to it. Because mantises don't have very good health. I was glad I hadn't sent it some. I don't want to go any forwards because I'm pretty sure the worms start spawning very soon. I need to check on the shadow. And if I go forwards. Worms will aggro on. If there are any worms here, they'll aggro on me. And then I'll hit the Shadow Man and just cry sick. And then I'll do just so much damage to it. I don't like how like, the ice is just like falls. Like, it like snow falling in this cave. It's like it's moving. It's just like it's the kind of movement you just see out of the corner of your eye. And you're like, okay. I don't like that, especially since this cave is so nerve wracking. It's super creepy, in my opinion. I do not like this cave, that's why I've only done it once, and that's why I usually farm well with a golem. I 
pistol. And a really good sight so I guess that's worth it. Not making stylus anymore, but still. It's like super fucking with shot. It's like they've got a really good gearbox. And the ice on the roof is too. That, that's good. I, this would not be possible if this was the first one. Like, I intended on originally, like, when I first attempted this cave, like, I tried doing it on foot. But, like, after a couple of attempts at death, like, it was impossible because they just kept over spawning. And, like, there's no way I can fight up, like, four death lives at a time. Like, oh, I can get that in a fabricated sniper form, I'd be happy.
my arm is probably wrecked. I'm just gonna try and tank her. That was a bad idea. Oh god, no, that's not good. That's not good. I don't have a special. Shut my time. safe to cry you a creature or whatever. Let's just see how much health does she have. It's like I'm pretty sure it's 20k. Cool. 
important is this place? Uh, I hear a gun. Coordinates of this place are uh, 36, 41. I'll have to try that someday. I've got to repair my tech boots after they got after us battle. It was very hurry. Alright, so here goes. That's the two Ragnarok mini boss caves. Like, there are two other caves, the Life's Labyrinth and the Carnivorous Caverns. You can attempt that. Like, they don't have bosses. Like, Carnivorous Caverns is just a massive maze-like cave system, which I haven't yet been. Because it's a massive pain. Just down. That's right. Oh, I already am going down. Alright. Never mind that. Um, so yeah, Carnivorous Caverns is this big, yeah, uh, cave system. I'll show you where it is. Where's the guns? It's in this direction, because that's Viking Bay. I'm pretty sure. Right? <laughs> Viking Bay, and this is. Yeah, why am I dumb? I don't spend enough time on Ragnarok. It's a really good map, I don't even spend much time on it. So, yeah, the Carnivorous Caverns is like. Yeah, it's got a couple of creatures, but like it's most mostly it's just the maze is the challenge. It's a maze, like, you spend so long down there. And the uh, uh, life's labyrinth is probably one of the hardest caves in the game. It's it's, a, it's like a dun it's a, like a mobile dungeon but harder. Like you gotta put like, there's a maze, there's like parkour, there's uh, creatures, there's traps, there's puzzle solving. It's a huge pain. Like, yeah, I've completed it twice, but with much hardship and a bit of cheating. But well, let's not talk about that. I'm terrible at mazes, so I may or may not have used this fun little G called Ghost after I spent like two hours in the maze. But that's not important. So. Uh, the castle is right over there. On that thing, it'll load in. Yeah, there it is. So, like, you go into the castle and you, like, fight all the creatures. You, like, go down. And then there's, like, a cellar area. Like, you have to go really far down. And then you get to, like, this little water cave tunnel thing. And you have to. Um, and then you just uh, swim through the water and then you enter the caverns. Alternatively, there's another there's a, there's a sort of sort of dry ground. It's in the swamp entrance over here. Or is it over there? It's one of those two. Yeah. I think yeah. There's also an entrance uh, in the water down there, like around there. You can go in through the water there. I've spent a little bit of time in there, but then I accidentally found an exit and like, screw it, I don't like this cave anyway. So I'm gonna leave. The other entrance is this way. Somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere in that area. I can't find it because I usually end down in the hidden lake. Well, I've only ever really entered the cave once. Pretty sure it's somewhere around here. It's in a swampy area anyway. I think there's also another entrance to this cave, like, I believe in the mountains over there. Well, the mounts like on the heels and stuff, like Skeletal Pronto. Can't pull the to kill it because it'll probably have like 100k health. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, those are the two Ragnarok mini boss caves. Yeah, they're not easy. Like, now that you have cryopods, they're a lot easier to cheat, but like, they're still not that easy. Yeah, the other.
other entrance is over here. Seventeen forty two. That was a very good year, seventeen forty two. I enjoyed it a lot. I just I felt the need to just destroy that arch here. Alright, and if you guys will just give me a sec, I'll show you the entrance to Life's Labyrinth. And I might upload a video on Life's Labyrinth soon. So yeah guys, I'll see you in a bit when I get the guys. This is the entrance to Life's Labyrinth. Camera up. So yeah, you gotta crouch in here. Let's load in the cave. Actually no. Oh, right, that's the exit. <laughs> Never mind. The entrance is near here somewhere. I'm done. They look pretty much identical. Oh, I forgot I didn't have tech boots. Here's the entrance, it's super hard to find. And then, like, you gotta go through this little room. Like, you gotta press the right buttons and then open the door into the next room. I can't really to show you. Um, the code you wanna spell is Grata, I'm pretty sure. G E R A T A E G E R E T A. Pretty sure. Anyway, yeah, that's Life Labyrinth. Um, it's a you, you can't be too prepared for Life Labyrinth. Is what I'm. Is one thing I'm saying. Like, lots of med bruise, spare armor, lots of ammo. Um, yeah, you need so much of that game. Picks and if you can tech up, it's probably one of the best things you need for that cave. I need to just get some food. What? Okay, I guess I loaded all the drops in Life's Labyrinth and they're all Easter drops. Easter Christmas drops. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, because like. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is intentional, but like um uh drops like the um like even like you know these these like you know, Halloween drops can replace regular drop spots. That also works for like cave drop spots. So like these will all it's like yeah, I've been trying like recently I've found a good few cave drops and yeah, I've just found a bunch of like yeah, these just sticking out. It's like yeah, in the cave. So yeah, I guess loading in the labyrinth just loaded all the drops. Now a bunch of them are being replaced by these. Interesting. Alright guys, I wouldn't feel that I probably helped you with the hardest cave in Ragnarok. Unless I'd show you the hardest cave in Ragnarok and how to complete it. This cave here, like forget all the work, forget what I said about all the other caves, like this cave here, the hardest cave on Ragnarok, and maybe the rest of the game. This cave is called the Monkeys. It's the Monkeys. They look at you. They intimidate you. They watch you. They know you. And then you must find their artifact through their great puzzle. Where could it be? Where could the artifact be hidden? And once you get the artifact, they come alive and attack you. Attacking me. I think it probably would be actually pretty cool if they did attack you when you took the artifact. 
but definitely that cave is the hardest on all of Ragnarok. Don't, I don't care what you say, the labyrinth is harder. That cave, dude, seriously, it's so hard. I have failed it so many times. It's only through days of work have I um, discovered the secret trick to getting the artifact. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys. I yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if, you if you did enjoy it, well, yeah, hit the like button. If you found it useful, hit the like button. And yeah, if you want to see more videos from me, if you want to, yeah, uh, then subscribe. Because yes, I like subscribes. Subscribers, they are very helpful in like you know, we're aiming for a million by the end of this year, guys. Come on, we can do it. We just need like. Uh, I'm just doing this. Uh, 999,983 more subscribers. That won't be too hard, will it? Nah. Alright, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.